Okay, hello, um, this is a quick desk update. Sorry it's been a while since I posted any videos, but uh, I've been rather busy with setting up casting equipment, etc, etc, which I'll give you a tour of the new workshop when I get around to doing it. Sorry this is going to be a bit rough and ready because my tripod is currently on loan to somebody, so uh, you're just going to have to, you know, deal with the shaky bit. But uh, there's a few things I want to show you today, and I'll do more in-depth videos about them later on. But uh, first of all, my Kickstarter from Games and Gears arrived. This is for... The uh, Itchy Band Studio paintbrushes. You see the paintbrushes in there. I uh, also got their brush soap and their towel. Uh, one item is still waiting the Katana brush, detail brush, I think it's called. But uh, these are the Games and Gears paintbrushes. You get a two, a one, a zero, and a double zero. But the paintbrushes are real sable. And obviously, they fit into the handle of the brush, so you can paint with it as you would a pen or a pencil sort of thing, so this is my left hand, I'm not left handed, I'm right handed, but uh, you know, you're never going to lose those little plastic cap things that you always inevitably lose off your paintbrushes, so because the paintbrush fits it straight into its handle. And I'll do some more detailed videos on these and how I use them and my honest review about them. There is a few out there already from certain painters. I've already done reviews on them, but uh, I only got mine a few days ago. But, uh, they come in this nice little nifty case and uh, brush towel as well. And that's those. Also, I'm working on some commissions as well. This one is the Hawk Industries Alliance Fleet from Firestorm Armada. These are really nice miniatures. Some uh, line renderings of them. These are already assembled because these are getting ready for painting. But uh, these are gorgeous models. Just all that detail there, little metal pieces. They're still a little bit uh, wet because I've just washed them. But, uh, the battleship and we have three cruisers these are resin with metal fins on very nice a little bit of cleanup was needed at the back where the uh, poor bark was but uh, other than that they're fine and we have our little cruiser there and our frigates these are solid metal nothing still a lot of detail on them you get four of those and your bag full of acrylic bases with the acrylic light stands and your firing arcs already etched onto them there you get a spare sail in case you lose one or whatever token sheets firestorm armada your uh, maneuver template etc there. I'm not quite sure how these work in the game because I haven't played Firestorm in a long time. But, uh, that's the Hawk Industries Alliance fleet. And also I'm working on some mechs for this up for a Scotticon event I believe. It's called um, Happening This Weekend. These have just been basically undercoated and base coated in their solid colour but they're going to be all sorts this is going to be sort of like a hot rod sort of colour scheme on this one with gold trim and etc just to make it look fancy because these are supposed to be sort of ace pilot mechs but it's, uh, doing them all differently so this one's going to be sort of like Iron Man themed hot rod style sort of mech and we have this one which is being base coated in ochre first and um, I will see if I can remember what the names are. The one I showed you before was a Rashinka. I probably am pronouncing that horribly. This is an Albatross. This one here. Uh, I mixed them all up so I can't remember what bag goes to which. Um, I think this one is a Hercules. So this one's going to be a winter camouflage, digital camouflage sort of style, but in a winter theme. I definitely know that this one is the Spartan. 
and this one's going to be in standard sort of olive drab colours DPM sort of style colours but uh, like I say they've been primed in the first initial coat put on got to leave that for about 12 hours for that to fully set and I'm working on a second starter set for relics this is not mine this is a commissioned one but uh, these are the relic starter sets for the Britannians so we have one two different different poses these are the linesmen there's six linesmen that's the other pose so you've got one facing left one facing right and one holding his gun up like a club it's going to be painted in your traditional English 1900s uniform and then you have our dragoons which are the cavalry but basically they are the same voodoo dolls but with like this one's got a wheel at its back very nice these have just been superior prime ready for painting then we have the other one which is actually a horse still a map it's still a uh, voodoo doll at the front but it's got like the rear end of a horse and the pinned on tail so this one's this one's eeyore in my book and we have our color sergeant with his sword and yelling into his trumpet megaphone thing what do you want to call it bugle uh, these are on my custom resin bases these ones but uh, that's currently what I'm working on as well as a very large warzone horse at the back there just sat there waiting to be painted um, they've been base coated and primed and I'll be starting those at the same time as I'll be painting the Spartan because they're coming in a very similar paint scheme okay so that is a quick update for now and sorry it's been a while but I will be getting back to editing videos eventually probably in the next month or so you'll probably see more videos coming up so thank you very much for watching and until next time happy modeling guys